All right. So now this one is how you would say a goober, because we have ourselves a quotient rule. And within that quotient rule, we have a product rule. So you have to keep in mind that there's an order of operations here. So since the outermost thing is a quotient, we first start with the quotient rule. So this is our high, and this is our low. So here we go. The derivative says low and notice what I'm putting around my low is parentheses because if you don't you're not going to multiply the whole thing correctly times the derivative of high I'm going to just put a prime on this for now minus high times third of a low again just a prime all over low squared Looks innocent enough. It's not. Why? Because this guy right here, this guy, is a derivative of a product. So in order to do that guy, we need to use the product rule. So now this is the first, and this is the second. Let's clean up these primes. I'm going to switch all to blue now. So anything without a prime, you just copy down. Anything with a prime, we're going to differentiate. Keep in mind, x, the cube root of x is x to the one-third. So anytime you have a radical, think about a power. It makes your life easier. So it's the first, x to the one-third times the derivative of the second, which would be our product rule, so we'll have 3x squared plus the second times the derivative of the first, bring that one-third in front, leave the x alone, take one off. Bam, bam. So what I suggest to do, and it does not take that much time, is uh, even though I'm giving you the formulas on the test, while you're doing your homework, write out what the product rule says. So first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. And the quotient rule, low d high minus high d low all over low squared or even better go online to my website my award-winning website print out the last semester's test rip off the last page like you mean it and just have that next to you while you're doing your homework done and done but we're not done and done with this problem because that was only this first term here so minus high D low, what's the derivative of the denominator? Louder. Good. 10x. All over. 5x squared minus 9 quantity squared. Now, if I were to classify problems, I would declare this one as how you say god awful. So we're going to just leave this alone. I'd probably just say find all your minor derivatives and uh, stop right there.